Um... We've made a breakthrough. We can't lay claim to Dewa 3 and make it our new home without allies. The planet is close to Klingon space, although they've never formally claimed it. If we could get their support, or that of the Federation, we would be able to break away from the Romulan Star Empire without worrying what the Tal Shiar will do. Datan has been working for weeks to get the Klingons and the Federation to agree to talks. Now representatives from both factions will be at Kittimer to hear our proposal, and so will the Empress. I want you there as well. I think we'll need someone like you on our side. It won't be easy, but this is our best chance to create a new life and a new home. Okay, they'll take the job. We don't really have, have much new choice. Orders for you. Hey. This place has some bad blood. Back in 2346, the Romulan military launched a massive attack that slaughtered all the Klingon colonists here and took the planet. The Klingons took it back in the chaos after Shinzon's rebellion. This is the first time since then that they've allowed Romulans to be here. We should be careful. The Klingons aren't going to be in a great mood. Just having us here will be a reminder of what's happened. Zatan is waiting for us with the rest of the Romulan diplomats in the Hall of Conquest. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's go meet Zatan. To be honest, the one thing that they need to, to make it fit within their own internal logic is rather than going to New Romulus to pick up a new ship, you pick up a new ship from the flotilla which is already in, been introduced. That would solve that particular internal logic. The game but play wise it it works fine. I wonder what it takes to be put in the gallery of honor. Probably they wanted to show off something I expect. Ah, here we are, the Chamber of Conquest. Chamber of Conquest. Let's hope one day the Klingons turn their attention to the tall Shiar. There's Titan and Tamir. Let's talk to Tamir first, as he's our commander. Okay, so it's just pleasantries. It's good to see a friendly face. The air here is a bit tense right now. I need to stay here and prepare for Empress Sila's arrival, which I'm sure will not be pleasant. Could you speak with the Klingon and Federation delegations? See what they're thinking. Get a feel for how the negotiations will go, and most importantly, try to convince them of our sincerity. What about the war between the Federation and Clemens? Will they both help us? Both of them want to learn more about Romulan technology, and they're willing to do a great deal for us to acquire it. We will have to be careful not to get dragged into their war, however. We are already dealing with the Tal Shiar, and that is more than I believe both of them see us as a potential resource. While I'm not terribly happy about that, it is a way to get them to assist us. And until we are established on a world of our own, we need their help. Understood. What can I do to help? We're still working on an agreement, but an initial proposal is on the table. The Federation and Klingons will help us establish new Romulus, as long as they can set up embassies on the planet. They wish to use this as a chance to acquire Romulan technology and Romulan allies. We need assistance to create a new world. It's a give and take, one that will hopefully work. You can start by speaking with some of the delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. 
far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. Tovin, what do you think? I think we should do whatever we can to stop the Tal Shiar. If that means making an alliance with Starfleet or the Klingons, fine with me. I would be worried about us getting dragged into their war, but I expect that they're both more interested in our cloaking designs than our people. I say we go with whoever is most willing and able to help us against the Tal Shiar. That's all that really matters. We must be careful not to let vengeance blind us in our attempts for freedom. In the meantime, I would ask you to speak with delegates from the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Just because an initial proposal has been presented does not mean the conference is over. Far from it. Any information you can get me about what they're thinking will help when it comes time to present our case. I'll do what I can. Right. Go talk with the Klingon Federate uh, delegation first. This is their home, well, one of their home worlds, not home worlds, one of their worlds. There's the loss of heroes. Probably Klingon heroes who killed Romulans. I understand their stance, but still, there are issues. The would be Romulan Republic is weak and fractured. How could an alliance benefit us? Right. Talk to Wotum. Counselor. The diplomacy makes for thirsty work. The Federation ambassador can't hold his teeth together for more than a minute. The Vulcan just stares daggers at everyone. Half of my delegation are a breath away from ripping into the staff leaders like rampaging togs. And we're all stuck in here with you backstabbing green bloods. Oh, did I offend you? Well, get used to it. We don't have a reason to trust you yet. And I don't know if we ever will. Maybe I can help with the thirst. Hey, Blood wine available, I believe, back in the, the lobby out here. A cup of blood wine. trying to insult here. Ah, there's some strength in you. I like that. Perhaps you would be a valuable ally. But just because you know when to bring a Klingon a drink does not mean we are friends. I'm keeping an eye on you and your kind. Very well. So, we need to talk to Stas. in an allegiance. The Tan is no warrior, and Klingon politics have little in common with Romulan machinations. 
Uh, I'd like to know if there's any information on the Iconians you'd be willing to share with us. Rumours are true. The Iconians have returned. Our ships have sighted their vessels in Delta Volanus. And we have heard rumours. They have servant races. The Heralds, who serve as their personal bodyguards, a race that lives in subspace, and even one you have already seen. Be wary. The war you fight now may be for more than mere survival. We are survivors, Ambassador. We fight with Talshiar day and night. You do have a point. The fact that you've survived this long against the Tal Shar says something about your people. However, it does not say whether or not you are in the right in this civil war of yours. Or if this is just an elaborate Romulan plot. We shall see just how trustworthy you are in the days to come. You will see the truth of our words soon enough. The Klingons don't seem too thrilled with the idea of being allies. Maybe we'll have better luck with the Federation. Let's see what we can do. <sighs> Certainly wasn't particularly um, encouraging. Other than they were able to share about the Iconian tech. Right, so we're on the opposite side, that's where the town are and Tamar. We're on the opposite side of the hall and we have Federations. One of our new potential allies. I am Jiro Sugiha, a representative of the Federation Diplomatic Corps. Let's talk, shall we? Yes, I'd love a chat. Now, please don't take the cool reactions of some of my colleagues as an indication of how the whole of the Federation feels. There is a history between our two governments. But I believe with some work, we can all come to a peaceful agreement. Don't you agree? Of course you do. Of course. Why else would you and other fine and forward-thinking Romulans, such as Datan, be present here at this conference? I like to think of all of us, Federation, Klingon, and Romulans alike, as engineers. We're building bridges to a newer and brighter future. We're architects, designing load-bearing structures upon which we might build vital cooperative efforts. But before we get to the window dressing, of course, you know where we must begin. Yes, we could start. Why, with the foundations. You knew that, of course. There's nothing we cannot achieve if we're able to continue to sit down and discuss our differences. And bit by bit, measure by measure, work through them and learn from one another. We must start fresh. So as one potential friend to another, I ask this entirely as a personal question. How do you feel about reunification? I know there are a lot of people in the Federation still opposed to it, but I am certain that if we simply sit down together and discuss the issue rationally, we can... Archaeology has never been my focus, but let's see. I believe the Enterprise D helped discover the location of Iconia back in the mid-23rd century. Until then, we didn't even know that... Until then, we didn't even know if the Iconians were real. They could have just been an ancient myth. Their history is quite dramatic, isn't it? Phenomenal power brought low by a mighty coalition of other species, joining together to defeat a common foe. The destruction of the Iconians may very well have been the first war of this type. And well, look at us now, uniting with former enemies to defeat the Tal Shia. This is a very interesting time in our history. Thank you, Ambassador. Now, if you'll excuse me. That should lay the seeds of concern in the minds of both. Okay. What's Admiral Tanay got to say? 
I know your kind too well to ever trust what you say. I will not be taken in by your attempts to be disarming. My kind? The kind that's hunted and killed by the Toshia? It has yet to be determined if anyone is being hunted. If that is the case, Starfleet will take the appropriate action within the bounds of the Prime Directive. I have spent more than three decades defending the Federation from Romulan plots. I have seen all of the tricks, the deceptions, all of the treachery that is born of hubris. Romulans believe they are superior to all other species. That is incorrect. It will take a great deal of effort to deceive me. I suggest you do not try. This isn't a trap, Admiral. You will see. Hmm. Not very positive. Orkin Ambassador? Greetings, cousin. Do not be surprised. I see our allegiance is a welcome reunion. A step forward towards reunification, one that both of our peoples could benefit from. Okay, so there's definitely Calvin uh, reunification. I'm pretty happy with peace first. Yeah, I can understand that. Okay, reporting. Jolan True, what do you have to report? Briefing to town. There's doubt everywhere. We will have to be careful not this to. This conference is a farce. Sheila! You're not trying to found a settlement. You're rebelling against your sovereign. You're stirring up dissent with your wild stories of mysterious aliens and colony attacks. Wild stories? Until now, I gave your little movement some leeway because I thought I could convince you to see the error of your ways. This ridiculous conference shows me I've been far too forgiving. You! How could you? Hoven, that's enough. You two, please leave this to Tamer and me. Right. Unbelievable. How can that woman stand there and deny everything? If you ask me, the only thing worse than the tall Shi'ar is the politician who lies for them. There should be no allegiance with such... Hold on. I'm getting a message from the ship. Continue. We're picking up odd ships on sensors. Ships that match the one we scanned back when the colony was destroyed. Good. Now they'll have to deal with us, the Klingons, and the Federation. Alright, uh, inform the Klingons they have uninvited guests. The Klingon command base has ordered us to remain in orbit and leave the defense of Kittimer to them. However, I'm certain that the Singularity signature I'm detecting is the same ship that was in orbit of Viranaut during the attack. This could be the person responsible for the destruction of the colony. Do we investigate despite the Klingons' objections? Of course we do. Beam to the ship. It's not Tovin's voice actor. They've definitely changed that. I wonder if that's something else that's changed over time, whether it was originally voiced by the same. It could have been. It could have been. I'm picking up multiple anomalies in the area, but the Klingons are still ignoring them. We should investigate them and be prepared for whatever happens. Keep an eye out for Klingon ships. If any hostiles appear, they'll show up too. If we're lucky, they'll target the enemy and not us. Okay, very well. Let's go. This is where we find out whether I was truly mistaken in not getting a better ship. Right, approaching, scanning. 
The Alachi were hiding the Tall Shar ship. Talks missed. They didn't. I right, got him. Okay. What's the Klingon's got to say? I am Gerard, son of Lursa. Of the IKS Kang. You have proven yourself in battle against one of these ships. I will ensure that you will survive to prove yourself again. I was the first to uncover the alien Undine within the Klingon Empire. Now, I shall be the first to combat this new alien threat. To battle! Agreed. We'll send you the data we have from the Alachi. Right, next. Scanning. Do that one. That one survived the first torch. Hydrazine gas. We'll collect that as we go by. Scanning the hydrazine gas. There's the anomaly. Scanning the area. Covered us. I'm quite happy you did, though. Now I have a chance to rectify the mistakes of Gasco Station. Captain Gerard, you have no place in this fight between us. This is a Romulan affair. Captain Gerard? Colonel Hakim, you came into sovereign Klingon territory with hostile intent. You brought these aliens into our space. Now, Unmitigated goal to try to give orders to a Klingon warrior? This is not a Romulan affair anymore, Colonel. You have insulted me, and you will pay the price. Never insult the Klingon, Hakai. I don't care if you have a hundred Klingon ships. You will not stop me. We'll see. Break out the, or maybe we won't break out. Oh, 
try and take the little one out of the way first. Whoa! That's... It's been a Commander. When my function is complete, I will deal with you another time. You fought well! My people will learn of Colonel Hakeem's attack on my vessel! That I can promise you! I will also tell them of your abilities in battle. However, Hakeem did not die, so I cannot rule out the possibility that this was all a Romulan trick. My ship will continue to patrol the area. You should return to the conference. Thank you, Captain. <sighs> he thinks it's a trick. down to the surface before he warped. I think. Yes, we're getting confirmation. He beamed explosives down to Kittimer. We've got to get down there and disarm them before anyone finds out. Even a hint of a problem like this, and the conference will be shut down. We'll lose our best chance for colonization. Beam me down. What a time for an ad break. What is your status? I'm in the Hall of Heroes now, and things are underway. Did you handle the situation with the Alachi? Yes, but I gave beam down some explo uh, beam down explosives into the hall. This is not good. It will be too easy for any disturbance to be blamed on us, and Hakeem knows it. I'll start searching the Hall of Heroes. Contact me once you've found all of the explosives on your end. I'll do my best to discreetly look for anything amiss over here. Make sure the Klingons do not find the bombs first. If they do, there's a good chance we'll be seeing one another soon in a jail cell. I'll handle it. Right. Okay, for anybody who was out on adverts, uh, Tamiar is going to be looking at his end. I'm. He's asked us to look at this end to try and... Uh, deal with any bombs that we might find. Gallery of Honor. Something over here. I think we haven't triggered something that needed to trigger. The tall Shiar had spies here the entire time. Right. Holster the weapons because we don't want to alarm the Klingons. 
But we've now triggered the next section. There it is. Again, holster the weapons. And another bomb. Did you get the explosives? Good. That's a relief. I found a bomb near one of the statues in the back of the hall. I should be able to confirm that these devices were made by the Tal Shi'ar once the conference is over. It will be more proof that they cannot be trusted. Indeed. Right. Why don't you come inside the conference? The Klingons are about to speak. It should be interesting to hear what they have to say. We're on our way. Right. Put the weapons away. Sila already sent the Tal Shiar to attack us here. Who is to say Titan is not part of her plan? We must not allow this alliance to happen. Hakeem! Treacherous Greenblood! Stay back! What do you think you're doing? What? What are you? Remember this. He gave his life. Yes, it's it's not my first playthrough, and but it's the first playthrough I'm doing uh, on stream, and it's the first playthrough that I'm looking to put up onto YouTube for, uh, on my channel. Right, let's get down to where what's happening. Tamir's sacrifice will be remembered. I promise you that. Listen, I have never liked the Tal Shiar, but we of the Diplomatic Corps are always committed to trying to find peaceful solutions first. But we can help you in your fight to bring justice to the Tal Shiar if you accept our assistance. We know you have much to do to build a new homeworld and free your people. The Federation wants to be your ally in everything. Appreciate your words. It wasn't the person I was trying to speak to. To man died with honor. When my time comes, I hope I can do the same. Is it? His sacrifice showed me that we have a common enemy. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a clicker. I would be proud to give my aid to you and Detal. We will hunt the Tal Shiar like the dogs they are. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Tuver's death will not be in vain. Now we have the opportunity to secure our future. The Federation looks favorably upon our endeavors, but it will take time for them to commit. Now Tamer has shown the Klingons that there is honor and nobility among us. We may not have gotten what we wanted today, but I foresee a day where we will build a home and a life on new Romulus. The next step must be yours. Both Starfleet and the Klingon Defense Force have agreed to take Romulans into their forces. I'd like you to be the first. You will be our eyes, ears, and hands in their fleets. More importantly, you will be our voice. Where you serve is your choice. But wherever you go, always remember that you are Romulan. If you haven't done so already, speak with the representatives of the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Then take some time to think it over. When you are ready, 
speak with Sub Commander Nadell back on the hotel. Very well. Tamer gave his life so that we would be understood by the others. I know I won't forget this. I'm ready to do whatever it takes to take down the Tall Shion. So I'm with you on this, no matter what. The ship is awaiting our return whenever you're ready. We need to report to Sub Commander Nadell and let her know everything that's happened. Right. Let's beam up. Hello, Skelly. Wow. How skelly. Skelly is a streamer. He I definitely he does streams of variety of stuff. Um Call of Duty seems to be what he does late into the evenings, uh, UK time, but uh, he streams other stuff, uh, a lot of uh, Ubisoft stuff, uh, Ghost Recon, Division 2, uh, I've seen some Assassin's Creed, give him a try, give him a try. Right, so we need to get to the flotilla to finish off this little story ah gym tomorrow so is it leg day or upper body to, uh, day tomorrow I'm doing all right further oh, almost there upper body tomorrow right okay well just back from a holiday in Cornwall God's own country better the other side of the Tamar you know Almost back at the flotilla. And to the flotilla. Welcome back. I'm Sub Commander Nadell. Tamara's final actions impress both the Klingons and the Federation. The time has come for you to decide who you will be allied with. Starfleet and the Klingons both have sent diplomats to stay here at the flotilla. Talk to them if you have any questions. Then speak to me when you are ready to make your choice. Alright, so, Captain Harvison. Tamara's sacrifice showed bravery and honor. We honor his act. We will not forget it. The Prime Directive may tie our hands sometimes, but we recognize when reaching out will help the galaxy. We are ready to recognize the Romulan Republic as a legitimate government, free of the Romulan Star Empire. We can help your people. If you'll accept us as your allies, we'll gladly aid you in your fight against the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We know you have much to do to rebuild a new homeworld on New Romulus. Tell us what you need. We're ready to help you with construction and the relocation of any willing Romulans to their new home. Thank you. Brigadier. Tamer's sacrifice showed the High Council that we have a common enemy. And there is such a thing as an honorable Romulan. We honor his memory. Join us. The blood in your veins may be green, but you fight for your people with the courage of a Klingon. The Klingon Defense Force will be proud to give our aid to the Romulan Republic. Together, we will hunt the Tal Shiar like the honorless dogs they are. 
All right. So, the Federation will help us with our colony and be our allies, uh, or the Klingons will help us hunt down the, the Telshiar dogs. Subcommander Nadal. Time is short. What do you need of me? Let's. My name is Nadal. I'm a former refugee, and like you, I'm trying to help Deton build a new Romulus. I barely remember the homeworld, but I remember the hunger and fear of the years that followed its loss. I watched my father disappear into a bottle of ale. I remember my mother crying night after night when she thought I couldn't hear. We need a new homeworld. We need stability, and we need to put the past behind us. I'll do anything I can to help make that happen. Okay. Time is short. What do you need of me? I'm ready to make this my decision. This final choice must be yours, but I know you will honor Tamer and serve our people well, no matter where you decide to go. So what is it to be then? The Klingons or the Federation? She's allegiance. Time is short. What do you need of me? So... Starfleet or Klingons? I'm going with Starfleet. I shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Okay, so... What's next? Tamer was a great man. He touched so many lives among the survivors. And I know he thought very highly of you. I can think of no better way to honor his commitment and sacrifice than by continuing to serve the Romulan people. On to business. The flotilla will be working on beginning settlement of Dewa 3, or what we're calling New Romulus. Good luck out there. Right. Time is... Congratulations, Centurion. 